So, hi. This is not how I wanted to start my birthday video. <laughs> Today is my birthday. You can sense that I have a little bit of a scraggly voice. And the intro to this video, I recognize that we are in fact taking a COVID test. I actually have Chelsea upstairs in bed. She was sick last night. I'll get to that in a minute. I am going to go ahead right now. It's 8.30 in the morning. I'm going to go ahead. One, two, three. Doing my COVID test. I have these by Nax Now ones I ordered online. <sighs> I just felt this little trickle in my throat yesterday. It wasn't even that, it was just a dry throat. That was my kid's alarm. So Chelsea felt a little bit sick last night and took a shower and went to bed early and got up super early this morning feeling really achy. Um, I think, I don't know. She said she felt dizzy. And sometimes my kids get confused with dizzy. Anyway. But she took some allergy medicine last night because she just had a runny nose. So I let her sleep in this morning and then I just kind of was like, hey, I kind of had a sore throat all night. Not a sore throat. It wasn't, even now it's not a sore throat. It's like just dry. Like I just want to drink water. Like it doesn't hurt just sitting here. It just feels like I need to keep drinking and hydrate my throat. Regardless, I had plans for today. And I have plans with people outside my family. <laughs> so I kind of feel like it's my obligation to go ahead and test. And I have these kits. So I'm just going to do it. And I've opened it. So I need to get going. And I won't, I will spare you the details of the swab. So let me do the test really quick and we'll be back. And then we also have to do Chelsea when she wakes up, unfortunately. <coughs> Ugh, I hope I don't do this test wrong. And I also don't really hope I, it's not positive. Like, I really hope we're not positive. Let me just make sure I'm putting this in here right. Okay, and then we close it. Have you guys done any of these at-home ones? Now we set the timer for 15 minutes. Hey Siri, set a 15 minute timer. 15 minutes, counting down. I feel like this is like a pregnancy test gone wrong. <laughs> like, Oh, I hate waiting. This is like 15 minutes, like three times the time, five times the wait you do for a pregnancy test. Oh, but the thing is, I like I, I haven't even gotten ready for the day because if I don't have to get ready for the day, in fact, if I don't have to get ready for the week, <laughs> I kind of need to know today. Oh dear. Like I don't even have a bra on people. Like I don't because I literally wasn't going to get ready today if I don't have to. And this will be like probably the worst birthday in history if I am positive or even if my kids are positive because I'll still have to stay home. So that will kind of suck. But the good thing is I did get to go on the trip and see my sister. So anyway, it's honestly, anyway, we won't go there. <laughs> we won't go there. Literally wrapped up in a burrito. <laughs> I know it tickles your nose, huh? It kind of hurt the other one because. Okay, I gotta run this down to the test, okay? Okay. Hi, Boo. You're getting a free ticket today. Well, I love getting it. I'm gonna just keep you home, but if we're both negative, you might be going back to school. Yeah. I have bad news. What? Come here. I'm right here. You have COVID. They got it already? I'm right here. I'm testing it right now. How? I have a little kit right here. It's not done timing yet, but I don't think your little positive line is going to go away. <laughs> Quarantine for the weekend. You, I, I'm betting I know where you got it from. We played a little too early with them. All right, Daddy's calling me. Hang on. Yes, you can have food. Hi. How's it going? Hang on, I'm trying to get you on speaker. So, unless I mess mine up, which I actually might take mine again, I am negative and Chelsea is positive. What? Yeah. And hers went positive the second I put the stick in. Like that, the line just went boom. I mean, like, it hit before the control line did. And you gave it time to think? 
Well, yeah, it's still light thinking, and that line has gotten darker as I waited. Like, I'm literally still waiting on the timer. All right, so I we did Chelsea one more time. It's still leading right away to positive. But now I have a question about whether to use this test to double check myself or use it to check her or Chelsea. closely to her. Right, but also to check Chelsea next week and have a test. Next so, week. so that second test for Chelsea, it's like, it's going totally positive already. And I just debate now to use the second test in that second kit because it's the last one I have and I feel like maybe Jason will need it. We're going to see if my father-in-law can go and find us some more tests. The Walmart by his store tends to stock them first thing in the morning. And then I'm going to order some more on walmart.com. <laughs> I have my four coming from the government, from the post office link. If you guys have not gotten yours from the U.S. government, go ahead and order it. I think I will try and leave the link down below in this video, but it might be too late at this point. But by the time this video goes up. Those tests won't even get shipped until next week. And so I'm gonna do a quick search right now to try and find some more tests and make sure we have a way to at least get her back into school. Normally I would test at the school to get her back in and make sure she has a negative, but her school is so far away. I don't know that they even do it at her actual school. They do it at Ashley's. I don't think they would do Chelsea at Ashley's school. So anyway, gotta figure that out, but we're home for the weekend now. Yay, happy birthday me. <laughs> I might just get myself ready because I'm gonna be stuck here all weekend and I don't wanna feel so blah, but it is kind of a bummer that I don't get to go anywhere, so. So I'm on the couch. I'm just not feeling like, like it's weird because I don't feel any like symptoms that I can explain. I'm negative, I've tested twice now and I'm, I'm negative, I did not, do the wrong the second test wrong and it's negative i even did chelsea's a second time and hers is definitely positive so i know i'm doing it right but i don't i don't feel fever and i don't feel a sore throat but i feel like that beginning of like congested in my head just barely it's just barely there like a trickle at the back of my nose it's not even sore it's just like something there and then i'm just tired I'm just kind of like my whole body is tired so i'm just like might as well relax because i can't go anywhere I actually should go to the bank really quick, but and I can do that through an ATM. I won't have any contact with anyone and I will wipe off screen, but I'm just not really feeling like even getting in the car. So I'll just wait and see if I need to like get out of the house later and go for a drive before I bother with that. But Chelsea, you just took a shower? Yeah. Chelsea often takes a shower to make herself feel better, right? Mm -hmm. And this one is staying away from both of us. <laughs> I, I'm negative, but we're just keeping away from each other just to be safe, right? Yeah. You're just up on the couch? I basically took my husband. You did? You goober. Now we're gonna. Okay, whatever. Can you even see her up there? <laughs> She's like so little up there. There she is. Okay, I really wish I looked and felt better today, even if I'm not, you know, COVID positive. But I just found out that a friend of mine okay i'm gonna try and get a screenshot of no, i don't know if she'd want me to put her son on here i will try and get a screenshot of the cake that my friend made for my friend's son um he loves milk and so she made him a milk jug cake probably like two weeks ago and they posted it on facebook and like oh my goodness sakes i can't believe she made my son a cake and it looks like a milk jug even this the size it was like the full size of a gallon of milk. Anyway, it was incredible. And everyone was like, oh my goodness, I, you know, I can't believe that. I wonder if you could make something for, you know, for my birthday or whatever. She's like, you tell me what you want and I'll make it. Well, I joked and I was like, I'll take a palm tree. My birthday's next week. <laughs> she totally did it. She posted yesterday on Facebook that the palm trees like failed. Like she made them and then they collapsed. And I was like, oh, that's cute that she even attempted to make them. And so I didn't really bet it. She didn't even tag me in the photo. And so she just barely texted me and she's like, I have your palm trees, are you home? <laughs> I was like, did she remake them? That had to have been so much work today anyway. So she's gonna stop by. I'm gonna have to tell her, um, uh, tell her that, you know, 
she's gonna have to set him down and, and back away from the door. But I will show you. Jason, I think, is feeling, he said, it's probably in my head, but I feel like a small sore throat is happening for him. And I don't know if it's just like literally in our head that like we feel like we should be sick. You should back up. I don't, I'm not gonna show you a picture of it, Ashley, until she bring, brings it. So I'm hoping my friend brings her little palm tree cake <laughs> over, cause that'll like make my day. It'll seriously make my day. So I'll show you it to you when she drops it off. Okay, so the second attempt on my palm tree is falling apart, but check this out. She said it did kind of fail <laughs> right at the end. This stuff isn't sticking on this tree, but look at this guy. I mean, I seriously cannot believe it. This was her second attempt, so it's a lot smaller, she said. She tried to do it smaller to get it to stand up. So this one is a chocolate buttercream, and then this one is a lemon buttercream. And so I'm excited to eat that tonight, but isn't that so cute? Okay, so I fixed some of them with some toothpicks so I can get a pitcher, but look, and I also gave it a cute little stand. This is like seriously made my day. And I did tell the girl that dropped it off that we had COVID and so she stepped back, but look how cute that is. This is my favorite tree. And then the little coconuts, <laughs> the little whoppers. So I have the cutest friends. Um, they brought me a Coke, <laughs> which is good timing. They actually could have gotten Chelsea a Sprite. They didn't know. They got me a Coke and a cute little happy birthday card telling me, sorry, yeah, COVID is such a fun hater. <laughs> and then she also made me her cookies and her cookies are so, 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 so good. So I might actually just save these and be kind of selfish. Cause these are her cookies are so good i don't know why she, how she does them different they're just really good oh, but you guys i slept how long do you think i slept Except for, um well it was two at least oh it was two o'clock and then he woke up at like 3 30 oh and i could not lift my head off the couch i like consciously woke up if someone came to the door you have to make me go oh gosh i was so tired i don't know if i'm just testing early and that's why it's still showing negative, but, it, or I just have a cold, and I'm just letting it run through my system, but my father-in-law did get me two more tests. <laughs> He's on a mission now, uh, just so that we have enough tests to get the kids checked before they go back to school on Monday, because we can all stay home all weekend. That's not a big deal. Um, and actually, Kaylee and Abby, like, quarantine themselves. Like, they're teenagers, and they don't like to be around... <laughs> preteens if you know what I mean and so they kind of are quarantined themselves so they're actually over at their friend's house and playing games they went to Target and then they're playing games over there and they're all wearing masks and the parents know and everything and everything everything is fine um, but they really like don't go near Chelsea and that's like nothing bad it's just dynamic of teenagers and younger sisters but also Kaylee the and they're not in the same room I am worried about you that's why I wanted to have some extra tests yeah. because in the, in the next day or two I'm going to test you I don't and feel see. anything different. No, just... but you could just not feel anything because anyway, but also Kaylee went to her boyfriend's house after school and they had a ton of tests and so they tested both of them and they were negative negative. and again she wore their mask and his mom understands everything she wished me a happy birthday. Anyway, it's just what it is but I'm hoping Jason can close, close the store in 15 minutes and go get us a pizza because I'm just, I've only been up walking around here for like five minutes talking to my friend at the door and I'm already like, look at my, my <laughs> this is my bed. I'm, I have ate an apple and if some cottage cheese for lunch and fell asleep. If you look up on the couch, oh. it's way different. Upstairs? Yeah. Do you want to go show them your bed upstairs? I can take a photo of it, but. No. She's made her little bed set up, up in the playroom because the teenagers can't come over and play this weekend. I wanted them to so bad. I got them those donuts and they were supposed to come over tonight and I was gonna congratulate everyone for getting through finals. They got out of school at 11 o'clock today and now none of them can come over. <sighs> so she gets to be in the playroom and that's her little bedroom day. for the weekend. 
Yeah. And uh, Chelsea can bypass being near Ashley. So wish us luck. I, I hope this is just like a cold and this, this thing goes away. But I, anyway, it is what it is. Happy birthday to you. Aw, thank you guys.